Welcome to Power Rangers Month. With this year being the 30th anniversary of the series, why not take a look back at Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie? And just for my sake, I'll refer to it as Power Rangers the movie from here forward. We have a couple of more years left for the 30th anniversary for this movie specifically as Power Rangers the movie came out on June 30th, 1995. This was the directorial debut of Brian Spicer and the screenplay was written by Arn Olsen with a story by Olsen and John Camps. It stars the same cast as season 2 of the show as it was released between seasons 2 and 3. However, the movie is not canon. With the show as season 3 does its own version of the Rangers getting the Ninjetti powers. So we have Karen Ashley, Johnny Young Bosch, Steve Cardenas, Amy Jo Johnson, Jason David Frank, David Yost, friends of the channel Paul Schreier and Jason Narvey, all reprising their roles. Robert Axelrod, Barbara Goodson, Richard Wood, Kerrigan Mahan, and Robert Manahan reprise their voice roles as well. The new addition to the cast is Paul Freeman as Ivan Ooze. Opening weekend, Power Rangers the movie made $17 million and overall ended up earning $66.4 million on the $15 million budget. Making it a success. Power Rangers the movie was not received well at all. At least by critics and honestly, that's understandable. Now... Don't get me wrong, I hold this movie very near and dear to my heart. I mean, I, I have a tattoo of the lightning bolt they used for the logo of the movie. I still thoroughly enjoyed watching the movie, and audiences polled by CinemaScore.com gave it an A-, so I'm sure a lot of my fellow 90s babies remember the movie fondly. This movie did not age well. And that's not a reference to the effects because there are very few VFX heavy movies that came out 30 years ago that still look good. Blu-ray did not do this any favors, but Power Rangers the movie is very much like a 90 minute episode of the show. The acting is wooden and the pacing is really fast. That normally wouldn't be a complaint, but it really does feel as if they took multiple episodes and loosely connected them in order to keep that pace. Which is funny because Karen James of the New York Times said in her review of the film that, and I quote, it resembles multiple episodes of the television series strung together with slightly better special effects. And I can see why. Going back to it being a longer episode of the show, regarding the acting, there's emotional segments of the movie surrounding whether or not Zordon dies. And I think the, the rush nature doesn't help them beat the accusations of wooden acting. Probably could have benefited them giving more room to let scenes breathe a bit. And surprisingly, none of the Rangers got to really show their personalities like they do on the show. They had one-liners here and there as a substitute, but again, I think a slower pace would have allowed for that to come through. There were a couple of reviews that referenced this as well in some type of way. Paul Freeman had an absolute blast playing Ivan Ooze, though, and I can tell you that much. That man was chewing scenery every time he was on screen, and I honestly think he makes the movie, like Raul Julia and Street Fighter. Everything else is pretty run-of-the-mill for Power Rangers. There are some cool action sequences, and the choreography is pretty well done, although editing is a bit messy in places. And with all that being said, if you were expecting me to say not to watch this movie or that it's awful, you're wrong. I gave it away at the beginning, but I still love this movie and I plan on finding time to watch it a couple of times a year going forward. And nothing beats that big screen morphing sequence, man. Anyway, you guys can buy this on Blu-ray as I couldn't find it on any streaming service that I have. It is just as cheesy as a regular episode of Power Rangers. The budget is just a bit bigger, so you have been warned. Anyway, that's my review for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Power Rangers Month, and happy anniversary to Power Rangers.